Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we explore the creepy pixel art horror game House, taking a look at the story and its mysterious characters in order to piece together the elaborate jigsaw puzzle of its mysterious narrative. So sit back, relax, and let's investigate the house. Tabby is a young girl who recently moved into a new house with her family. She has a younger sister, Melody, who seems deeply depressed, as well as a mother who drinks her days away, and a father who returns from work in a murderous rage. However, this family dysfunction only seemed to begin after the house move. Never quite sure if she is awake or dreaming, Tabby gets out of bed each morning and proceeds to experience a day filled with horrifying events, which always ends in tragedy. Sometimes she dies, and other times kills, and so manages to survive. Yet she always awakens the same way with events repeating themselves anew. This entire house is one big time loop. Not only is time stuck in a constant loop, a darkness resides within the walls of this house, the building itself one big living entity. The house is pure evil, and contains the power to corrupt and negatively influence its residents. On top of that, within the house resides a series of terrifying monsters, who prey upon anyone they come in contact with. Natural hazards are also found, such as this leaky ceiling and falling chandelier. The house does everything it can to corrupt, kill, and claim the souls of those who dare enter. Once a person dies within the house, they are reanimated as a vengeful demonic entity, hell-bent on attacking Tabby as she explores for solutions to her very unfortunate living situation. As she explores, dark entities such as this toilet monster try to influence her, pushing Tabby to perform evil acts such as murder. After performing these heinous tasks, she is praised by such creatures and welcomed into the house. However, as well as forces of darkness living within the house, there are also forces of light, characters who attempt to steer Tabby toward positive actions which may save her family from danger. These include a neighbour with a decidedly long neck, and a very polite talking snail named Marty, who offers to experience events with Tabby and becomes very upset if she causes bloodshed. But what led to this time loop, and why are the family members acting this way? On the surface, things seem fairly simple, but there is a more sinister story behind this family and their actions. Everything began after the family moved into the titular house. They began to fall under its dark spell, some being more susceptible than others. The most insidious manifestation of the house's evil energy can be seen with the father, who it is suggested killed a neighbourhood boy named Toby, who befriended and fell in love with his daughter Melody. We learn this information when talking to Toby's ghost. Toby is referenced in various entries within Tabby's diary, and it is here we learn that his murder had a butterfly effect as it damaged other members of the family, and allowed the house to control them like puppets. The time loop then began, and we see how Toby's death was covered up by the mother, who hid the body in a secret room beneath the master bedroom, and then boarded up the door. The rotten smell wafted throughout the house, and Melody, horrified at her father's actions and the death of her friend Toby, fell into despair. The only joy she found was in the playing of her piano. The mother, rattled and shaken, took to drinking to mask the true horror of her reality. The father, meanwhile, became even more unhinged, and returns home each night to kill his family, just as he did poor Toby. The only way to avoid the father's wrath is to kill him ourselves, or appease him by carrying out his murderous actions on the rest of the household before he returns home at which point he embraces Tabby and leaves her unharmed. At least, until the cycle resets. 
In order to summarise the story of House and explain its true ending, it is important to touch on how the game is structured and events play out. Tabby wakes at 8.30am each morning. Her mother begins to board at the bedroom door, hiding the corpse of Toby, at 10.50am. She then heads to make sandwiches in the kitchen. Melody leaves her room at around 12.35pm and makes her way to the study, where she begins to play the piano. Two tragic events will occur thereafter if Tabby does not intervene. The first sees her mother slipping on a puddle of water in the kitchen and breaking her neck. This triggers at 3.50pm. Following this accident, the chandelier in the piano room drops, crushing Melody. This triggering at 5pm. Tabby then waits around until 12pm, at which point time freezes and her father returns home, brandishing a kitchen knife. It should be noted that Tabby is the only character who seems aware of the time loop, and also the only one able to break from predetermined events, not conforming to a set path each cycle, and able to act against the best interests of the house. So, how can Tabby end this suffering and escape? House actually features six possible endings depending on the choices made by Tabby after she wakes to face each new day. I have made a video looking into each of these endings and how to access them, so check that out if you would like an in-depth look at each in turn. However, for the purpose of this story explained video, we only need focus on one, the true ending. Every time an ending is triggered, Tabby gets one step closer to unlocking the secrets of the house. In fact, all prior endings must be experienced before access to the finale is granted. After each ending, Tabby witnesses a monologue from her sister's old doll. This doll is used as an avatar for the house to speak through, and with each ending we are warned not to continue our pursuit and that resistance is futile. However, if we continue on, eventually the house weakens and the clock in the hallway becomes smashable. This action breaks the time loop and sends Tabby into an alternate dimension, where the reality of the house is witnessed. It is made up of organs like a living entity. Eyes watch over everything, fingers and mouths try to attack Tabby, and a beating heart at the centre of the house keeps it strong and alive. Destroying the heart sends Tabby into the depths below, the building eroding as it weakens and loses its grasp on her. It is here in this limbo where Tabby finally discovers the entity who has quite literally been controlling her family like puppets the entire time. This entity resembles a withered old man, suggesting this house has been in operation for a very long time. He grabs Tabby to subdue her, but in his weakened state she manages to pull free, losing her arm in the process. She then pulls out an axe, the very weapon her father used to kill Toby under the house's control, and splits the entity clear in two. Afterwards, Tabby is visited by the doll and, by extension, the house once more. This time, it seems far less confident and, in fact, quite afraid. Rightly so, as Tabby uses the axe to destroy the spirit once and for all, lifting the curse on the house. She is finally able to free herself from both the time loop and prison of the house, although in the process lost her arm in addition to her family, who were claimed by the entity within. With the house behind her and entity defeated, Tabby moves on with her life. However, not all is well. While the house no longer exists in reality, it continues to haunt Tabby's dreams. Every night she is forced to relive her experience, seeing her family as if they were still alive, still able to use her arm, and running in terror from the monsters who terrorised her all those years ago. Tabby is still connected to both the house and entity on some level, and cursed to forever relive her trauma. Free by day, yet a prisoner by night. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video looking at the story of House. I hope you found this video both entertaining and informative. 
And if you did, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.